everybody, it's Crazy Mango Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are watching the 15th episode of The Bad Batch, and it's um the final part. Literally final part one. Or the finale, sorry, my bad. And damn where we left on such a good episode last week. So good. It was filled with all the different emotions that could possibly be filled with it. Um we saw some old faces, and we saw that Hunter was taken by the Empire, and now Crosshair is there with him. I'm terrified about what's going to happen next, um, because who knows what's going to happen. Because again, I've said this and I've speculated that Crosshair might be back to normal, and he might just be doing this because he believes in the Empire. Um... I don't know, because especially with the explosion, someone did say there is a possibility that the chip was maybe, I don't know, not removed, but it was damaged. So then maybe he's just back to normal. Um, so it's a possibility. I'm not sure. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this episode and the effects on Hunter, maybe how Crosshair sort of talks back and says like, why didn't you ever come for me? And also what the rest of the Bad Batch is going to do and whether we see Rex again, if not... It's going to be interesting, and yeah, uh, let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Oh, the episode's called Return to Kamino. Nice. I'm excited now. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Look, they'll know it's a trap. That's so true. Yeah, I feel like Crosshair has a bit... He knows what he's doing. I feel like he does. Oh, shit! The fleets are there! Everyone's there. Oh no, are they gonna experiment on Hunter? I question the clone's motives with his old squad. I don't trust any of them. If his plan fails, none of them will be a problem any longer. Keeping an eye on things. Oh! Keeping an eye on Crosshair in case he double crosses them. Those keep a lot of secrets. Mm. Indeed. Omega, how did you know this existed? Bella said this tunnel leads to her private research lab. The others run throughout Kamino. You. Uh, it doesn't matter. Saving Hunter is what matters. What? Did that lady, the one who got shot ages ago, or... No, it's not the one that's here. Is it the one that got shot? Is Did she conduct experiments on Omega? Why did you fail? Because the Empire will be phasing out clones next. Not the ones that matter. Ho 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 ho. Crosshair! <laughs> Wait. Does that mean the chip's not working anymore? Wait. 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 Does that mean the chip's not working? And he knows, because now it's gonna get personal if it is. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh. So yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Crosshair's chip. Yeah, like he said it. Like, and I had a choice. Oh, dude. Anyway. What's so special about this lab? It's where I was created. Yeah. Oh. You all were here too. What do you mean? Your mutations were enhanced in this room. Experimental Unit 99 began right here. What? Oh, dude, so wait. Force 99 was made on purpose? I'm guessing for a greater purpose. It's sort of like, I guess, robotics. So like for, like, it could be like in terms of, yeah, robotics in a way, like some of them are the heavies who take most of the damage, then there's the shooters and stuff like that. But then they were trying with Force 99 to make more, but more enhanced than just normal clones, but they never succeeded except for Force 99. What the heck? 
I'm intrigued. I'm feeling like we're going to find out more about this throughout the episode, so let's continue. It's that inhibited chip in your head. It's making you fall. Oh, maybe it is the chip. I don't know. It feels like it's personal, so I can't tell with crosshair. We'll find out eventually. Oh, it's so quiet. I don't like the pristine look. It's scary <laughs> in this sense. But he knows that they'll go through the lift because that's what they do. Yeah, see? I told you! We're loyal to each other, not some empire. You weren't loyal to me. Oh. why I'm going to give you what you never gave me. A chance. What? Wait. What? That's what this was about. We were brothers once. We can be again. He wants them to join him. Yes, the inhibitor, like the inhibitor chip, has a bit of influence on Crosshair at the moment, but not as much as it did at the beginning. And obviously, he does feel betrayed. And yet, he's giving them another shot. Like I felt so bad for him, but at the same time, this whole time he's seen them. Like Hunter said, he's seen them as the enemy. And Hunter is all like, you know, like. And this is the thing. This is what I've been trying to say on Tumblr as well. Like Hunter kept running with the Bad Batch because he knew that if they went for Crosshair, they, like this, they would have been stopped and they would have been killed on the spot, no matter what. Um, and it's terrifying. And I'm so sad that it's come to this. But anyway, let's check what happens because there's still plenty of episode left, but at the same time, I'm scared, so... Ah. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Crosshair! Oh yes, the thief's playing. Oh no. Move into position. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my god, that looks terrifying. Oh, he's the oh, he's questioning what he's doing. It's your inhibitor chip. We can help you. A chip removed. What? Oh my god! This, the first This is who I am. I knew it! <gasps> oh my god, they hugged Rigger, Rev Crosshair. Is come with us. Oh They're such good boys! <laughs> Oh my heart. Such a good oh the feelies. Oh my god. This is huge. God. I don't think they'll make it to the lift. Oh, this is gonna make us home. 
Oh my god! Oh, the music. Suffered it, because otherwise... Copyright! Is that where they ended it? Why do you have to end it there? Oh my god! Oh, dude. Okay. I knew it! I have to say that. I was right. And I've been saying it from the beginning. What if Crosshair was actually normal all along? So when would it have happened? Because I thought it might have happened when he got hurt. But I'm guessing all along. So maybe... Oh, at the beginning in episode two. Oh, well, it was episode one, part two. Well, episode two. You know what I mean. Episode episode one. It was, yeah, I split it into two parts. That's what I'm remembering. Part, episode one, in the second half of it. And then he, um, they had the operation. Oh, now it makes sense. They, oh. They, oh, because they knew. Well, I mean. Oh, that's so... I, I just knew it, though. I was like, it's so weird, though, because if he was normal, maybe he might go to them, maybe he might go back to them, but he never did. So then I was like, what if he's holding that against them and using his new position in the Empire to go after them in a way of revenge? But also, it just seems like... Oh, it breaks my heart because Crosshair was like, I never had that choice and stuff like oh god and then he wants them to join the empire but you can see as well like how good they work as a team and it's so beautiful and even just again like he was like you were my enemy but then hunter was like i never saw you as an enemy and it's just it's so beautiful as well because it's just like it's so true and this is what i've been trying to say again all along crosshair like i mean hunter again i'm going back to this hunter was running away for the sake of keeping the Bad Batch safe, but also because he knew that going back to Crosshair was a risk. And yes, you know, and this is the thing. I was meaning to talk about this last week, but I completely forgot. These clones are very different to the other clones that we've seen in Star Wars. To Rex, to Cody, to, uh, to Gregor, to a lot of other clones. Because... They haven't, like, yes, they have that camaraderie between them, and, you know, there is a bond there, but there's no emotional sympathy, you know, emotional bond there. Like, yes, there's friendship, but it's very different. It's not like, for example, ex yeah, for example, Rex and Ahsoka. Like, it's very, very different. Like, they, like, Rex and Ahsoka will risk their neck, either to save Anakin, to save Ahsoka, or to save Rex. They will risk their necks to go after each other and help each other. Um, versus this, and also the situation that they're in. The entire Empire would have gone after the Bad Batch if they had gone for Crosshair, especially because of the rank that Crosshair is at. And, oh, now it makes sense. Just the whole Crosshair thing as well. Like, he believes in this new Empire. And this is the thing as well, with Clone Force 99, I was going to say, what if they were bred, not, not for the Empire essentially, but because that they're here now, like Crosshair wants them to join the Empire so that they're seen as the better clones in this sense because I feel like with the Republic, you know, Clone Force 99, especially with Clone 99, Clone, Clone 99 was like the cleaner, unfortunately, and he was made to do all the hard work in Kamino and then he ended up being a hero and sacrificing himself to try and help the, the clones when Kamino was attacked long ago in Clone Wars. Um... And this is the same thing, like, they were regarded as sort of, like, the clean-up crew as, you know, they were the ones who were sent into the very, like, hard missions and stuff like that, but they were never sort of given the same respect and regard as other clones, except by Anakin and stuff, because Anakin has, like, the highest respect for clones, um, and sees them all as, like, friends and stuff. That's why I feel like Crosshair felt like that and thought, now that there's this new age of the Empire, and now that there's not a full army of clones... And that there is Clone Force 99 still who are enhanced. They will be respected more and given sort of like what is due to them for everything that they're doing and to help the Empire. They will become like the heroes of the Empire. I feel like that's what Crosshair thinks 
and also he wants that for his brothers, but also he wants them to be safe. I do appreciate, too, Crosshair wanting Omega to be safe, because he still... Ca- I'm waving the pen. I need to stop. Um, but I do appreciate that he wanted Omega to be safe. He... I love how he was like, do you think this is safe for her? Do you think that this is going to protect her? Like, her being with you. That's so heartbreaking, but also so beautifully well done. Because, ah, oh, Just like, he cared all along for Omega. But it also breaks my heart, because... Uh, just like that, ri- not rivalry, but there is that sort of like, ugh, their tension, you know? And also, just, I don't think people will realise, like... I d- people on Tumblr, I think, don't, won't realise this. Um, <laughs> I say that on Tumblr because Tumblr just, there's so many people who just don't understand the magnitude of this. Like, this is Kamino. Kamino is the birthplace of the clones. To see it being destroyed, but also void of life, is so heartbreaking. Because in Clone Wars, every single place that they showed was always filled with clones, like, that beautiful laughter that the clones have, and all the talking, the brotherhood, and even, like, the, like, that place where all the baby, like, the, I don't know what it's called, but it's, like, that hatching area, or where the babies usually are, like, those were filled with clones, and now they're empty, and just, oh, it's so sad, because that was, like, everything, like, Clone Wars, seven seasons of Clone Wars, filled with all these different men who, yes, they have the same DNA, but all have such beautiful different personalities, and the birthplace is gone? Oh, it, yeah, because, like, we've never seen the destruction of Kamino, but now seeing it, it breaks my heart, because, oh, it's just, yeah, it's a big deal, and I I didn't expect it to be in this episode, I thought it would be in the next one, but I do like how they've done it. But I also love that, the, like, I didn't, I thought Hunter was going to leave Crosshair, but he still loves his brother and picked him up and said, we're taking him with us. Like, even though they disagreed. Oh, breaks my heart, though, because, like, now I'm trying to think about what's going to happen next. Like, if they do escape, which I hope they do, um, is Crosshair going to leave and do his own shit or go to the, go back to the Empire? What's he going to do? Like, that's the next thing, because now... Now that 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 soldier told the Empire that, you know, he um, sort of betrayed them, I wonder if he goes back and gets captured or even killed. Because now he'll be seen as a deserter and the Empire do not take kindly to deserters. And also, we did get a confirmation properly that there is Season 2 coming. Super excited about that. Um, so yeah. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm super... I loved this episode so much. I I really did. And also, I loved that there was those hints towards Omega's past, like where she was born in this lab. And also talking about, like, again, Clone Force 99. So it was done on purpose? That's what I'm trying to understand. Because that's super messed up, but also super cool. Because they actually wanted, like, a force of clones to have more sort of strength and better abilities than the other clones. So, I wonder why they didn't do more. That's a question. But, yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens next. I'm super excited. Oh god, it's gonna be- yeah. I'm- I'm excited. (laughs) So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the first part of the finale, Return to Kamino. Oh, the Bad Batch. Just- Dude, I love this show so much, and just, I said, I've said this, that this will all tie in, like, everything to do with Crosshair would come in this final episode and next week's episode. I said it. (laughs) Um, Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, and I'm glad, something I'm glad is about is that now that we know that Crosshair knew what was going on and wanted this, I'm glad that we got sort of his side of the story, like, why didn't you come for me? Why didn't you save me? And just stuff like that. Like, that's interesting to me. I always love that. And also, like, at the same time, I understand why. Because if they did, they would have been killed. And I feel like if Crosshair... I don't know if Crosshair would have accepted if they came and tried to, like, save him. I'm not sure. It's interesting. But, yeah... 
trying to, hmm. Yeah, maybe that's something we can discuss more next week overall for the season as well, the season finale. Oh, God, dude. Oh, my heart hurts, but also I'm so excited because, like, I hope they escape because if there was only going to be one season, then it means that they might have gotten killed in Kamino, which is so... It's so symbolic, but it's also heartbreaking. But I feel like we're going to get some, like, proper, like, good action next week. And there's going to be some fighting, I feel, and just some other stuff going on and drama. But yeah, I'm going to end it here because otherwise I'm going to ramble for so long. But yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments, guys. I would really like to hear it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Pango out.